PSG uh, to me it's a matter of self-preservation yan lang whatever be your objection whatever be your criticism para sa akin it is a matter of uh, preservation and I would like to call on Congress uh, na hindi naman ako nakikiusap ang ano ko lang diretso na salita na do not uh, think here with uh, the PSG I'm telling you as president is a matter of self-preservation so hanggang dyan na lang ako I will not elaborate on it but do not force my hand to meddle into this uh, affair because maybe I will not I'm not so keen about allowing uh, Durante and the rest of the PSG to testify uh, ginawa ito nila as I understand para sa kapakanan ng buhay nila so if they will uh, be called they will be called to testify in Congress uh, my as a lawyer I will just tell them because they are now uh, being accused uh, and uh, with the accompanying statement of prosecution and things like that and then if that is the case then I would ask the PSG to just shut up do not answer invoke the right against self-incrimination at wala kayong makukuha and do not force my soldiers to testify against their will at huwag ninyong i-contemp-contemp na i-detain ninyo I do not think it will be good for you and for me it would not be healthy for everybody just so sa kanila yan eh so kung tingin nila na ikakabuti sa buhay nila ay hayaan mo and uh do not threaten them with the you know, prosecution and things like that. They have every right to live and to invoke self-preservation. Kung baga sa criminal law yan, that is the right to self-defense. The enemy, COVID. Alam mo ganito yan. Lahat na matamaan ng COVID ay talagang possibility na may mamatay ka nandyan. So if you do not want to go out there and mix with the people because that is your job, uh, ikaw awa ng mga sundalo and they cannot also be near me because of the social distancing. So th th there's, there has to be a solution for this. Ako yung presidente, uh, I hate to see this pero kailangan ako ng security na closing puro sundalo yan pati yan mga babae sundalo oh, how do you now propose that they can guard me and my life kung social distancing for metro kayo na magintindi dyan and uh, I, I said, I, 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 wala akong tinanong kay Durante, wala lahat. And if it's uh, on their own volition that they, sabi ko sa kanila, tanongin mo sa iyo, wala. Historia lang yan. And if they ask you questions, uh, sabihin ko talaga sa kanila, do not answer. And maybe even I would not allow them to appear in Congress. Magkakaroon tayo ng ano dito, uh, not really a crisis, but uh, there will be a, 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 a nasty thing that will uh, transpire. Eh, alam mo, wala bang bakuna? Pag tinamaan ka ngayon, there is a possibility that you will die. Yan nga. 
And when I go out, itong mga security, they mixed with the crowd. You know? Nakikihalo yan sila. Guarding me. Of course, ako hindi ko kailangan kung ako. But that is the law. Ayaw ko nga silang gusto kong lumabas. Uh, pinipigilan nila ako. Sabi ko, you are dictating the, the events of my life. At sabi nila, sir, huwag kang magalit. Ang trabaho namin hindi galing sa iyo. It's by law. At tinitignan namin yung batas, hindi ikaw. Ang batas nagsabi lang to protect so that you will live, you will be alive. Now, how can I survive if wala akong close in to guard me and the people that would mix in the crowd to guard to prevent untoward uh, you know in incidents yan ang yan ang problema dyan they are caught in a bind mabuti kayo kasi opisina di kotse kayo aircon may mask kayo and everything and you're even divided uh, with the glass para hindi kayo maghawaan so how can they do that if they have to guard me hindi naman ako magpipigil because there are things kaya nang punta ako ng hulo magpunta ako ng kampo may puntahan ako na ganito anything that affects the country the republic walang since March wala tayong vaccine so since Mar March until now we are in danger of getting the COVID. and when you get the COVID be you a soldier civilian uh, nandiyan ka sa garbage collector or uh, minister ka ng religion ninyo walang ano protection except that you have to wear the mask but the mask that I cannot talk also if, I, if the thing is uh, covering my mouth I cannot seem to express what I want to say in my heart since March until now walang vaccine the earliest is March so kung March that is one year all that time, the lives of the people are in jeopardy of danger of getting the COVID. So, anong magawa mo kung Pilipino ka? No, if you are pressed, I am not saying that they got the, the vaccine or not. That is their worry. Because they can always say, well, I did not have it. I refused to. Pero sila, because sa trabaho nila, Eh, kailangan talaga ng... Hindi sila makalapit sa akin. So, ang close and security ko, wala. No, kung yan ang sitwasyon nila, I would not be surprised. I'm not saying that they had it. But I will not be surprised kung talagang nagpa-injection sila. Okay. But since there are... Uh, a lot of speculations and threats about prosecution and investigation. Kung sana tinanong lang ninyo ng anong mabuti uh, without necessarily blurting out threat about uh, I'll have them investigated. Uh, ganun ang Congress eh. Pag may mangyari yan, ah, investigahin natin yan. Tapos may mangyari ito, ah, let's investigate this. Ganun na lang palagi. Total sila lang naman. Wala naman kayong alam kung iba. Let them be. And let them suffer. Kung mayroong adverse effect yung vaccine. I don't know really if they were injected with the vaccine. What brand? Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko talaga. Huwag kayong do not presume na sabi, kinukover up. Putang ina kayo. Wala akong, hindi ako, hindi ako gago na maglaro ng ito. If I say that I will allow them, I will allow them. But I did not because they had it uh, on their own. Pero kung gusto kong sabihin na uh, for emergency purposes, you give the vaccine. Wala nang istorya yan. 
Wala akong i-cover-cover. Hindi ako tarantado kagaya ninyo. Eh, yung otak ninyo mahina eh. I, I, I can order. So, what would stop me by saying, sige, pa-injection kay lahat? All the armed forces. Lahat, alam mo, sila, they have to mix. They have to go to the mountain. They have to fight. You just don't know the life of a soldier. Ako, kasi matagal ako sa executive I had always had security beside me, noon pa, matagal na, for 23 years. Another, add, uh, another, add another uh, five years. All that, alam ko ang buhay ng security. So, huwag mo sila pakialaman. Because, there, two things may happen. I will ask them to shut up and not to answer any question. And I'm threatening, please do not cite them in contempt by detaining them. I will not allow it. Pupunta ako dyan sa Congress, kukunin ko sila. Pasyado kayong maano yan. Pag ginawa ninyo yan, there will be eh, a little crisis. Na sa inyo, ako, I am prepared. I am prepared, 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 I prepared to defend my soldier. I will not allow them for all of their good intentions to be brutalized in hearing tapos kung ano-ano kaya. Yan, isa. The other one is I might just decide to not allow them to ignore your summons. So, mamili kayo dyan. It's bad for you Sorry, I don't care. It is bad for the country. Maybe. Okay, basta sabi ko, huwag kayong pumunta doon. Why do you, why do you threaten a person with investigation just because uh, he had something to protect himself? For after all, until now, it is March to March. March is the earliest uh, in the meantime, they have so many things for themselves, they have to mix, and for their job, they have to surround me, and how can they perform that duty when they are in danger of getting the COVID? Pati ako mahawa nila. See? So, pinoprotektahan nila ako. Hindi naman ako papayag nagpoprotektahan sila sa akin na Ipakulong ninyo, yoy, oh, pakialaw na. Kayaan mo silang mamatay kung mayroong masama na uh, epekto yung, uh, I don't know what kind of vaccine, but uh, I don't care, bahala sila, buka nila yun. But kung sabihin ng mga iba, protect them because, uh, why, why would I, why would not I wait for Domingo to come out? You know why? Hanggang ngayon, at this late day, Pfizer lang ah, may Pfizer lang ang, Pfizer lang ang nag-submit ng, sa FDA. Alam ba ninyo yan? Uh, nakakandahirap na ito si General Galvez. Uh, looking for one. Uh, and he has found a light at the end of the tunnel. And it says that the earliest is March. So we started the lockdown March. Magma-March na lang bago pa tayo mag... In the meantime, the lives of these people, the lives of my soldiers are placed on jeopardy because if... All the choice. Trabaho nila yan. If the intelligence people would say go to the crowd and mix with them and uh, maybe look for any hostile attitude or uh, hostile act. Ang aki naman nakapalibot, babait lalaki, hindi naman makalapit sa akin kasi, sir, social distancing. Oh, how can they protect me if they social distancing? So that is the rule? Well, I'm sorry to say you, there is always an exception. You can say all the rules in this world, and there will always be an exception. 
Kagaya ninyo, hindi kayo maaristo. Wala yung session. Kaya huwag mong pilitin na magkaroon tayo ng rokos dito. Yan anyway, specific ang grupo eh. PSG lang. Hindi naman lahat civilian. Kaya ang PSG has a good reason to have it. One is, kailangan talaga nila sumidsi doon sa mga tao. Mix with the crowd. And every time na nagharap ako, it's about, there are about 20 intelligence uh, guys there in front of me mixing as if they're also part of the So, kaya ganun. Maybe, I mean, pagkahiyaan tayo. I said uh, it, it's bad for the country. Maybe. And it is bad for the country and you entertain the idea of maybe getting it. Maybe. And if you, sabi ko, huwag niyo i-contempt nito. Talagang, huwag if they, should they appear in Congress, be careful about threatening a guy, forcing him to answer. Because the answer would really be something like this. You know, Mr. Congressman, I refuse to answer your question because it might tend to incriminate me. I will translate it sa bugoy. Hindi kita sagutin kasi mapapukulong ako. Tindihan mo. And when you invoke a constitutional right, no adverse implication can be attached to the statement. Ah, hindi ka magsabi. Kung hindi ka magsabi, silence means consent. No, that is not applicable. When a person invokes a constitutional right, whatever it is, that right should be respected and no bad inference. Hindi ka magsabi, ah, ito, ganito, bakit? Kasi complete by itself, it is a sacred one for the citizen of this republic. Eh, ito mga sundalo na ito, Pilipino to. You, you force the issue? Well, I'm sorry. Magkagulo? Kasi ipahuli ninyo? Putang, hulihin ko yung minutusan ninyo maghuli. Kaya ang protecting, what is, what is the, what is the foremost uh, uh, narrative here? Self-preservation, ano ka man. Hanggang ngayon wala pang bakuna. So kung mayroon man magsabi na oh, ito mayroon, baka maayos, maayos ito. And they go there and plunge into it. Uh, ako, on my oath, kayo mga gago dyan na making inferences. Never knew about it. I never knew about it. And nobody told me until now. Yan, binabasa ko lang sa ano. Ayaw ko magtanong. Pero kung sabihin ko na, nabi ko lang, shut up. Akan ilang beses yan nasugatan, malapit mamatay, tapos pagkaganon gusto lang nila mabuhay, Wag mo akong, I hope you won't force my hand into it. We're fair friends, kilala tayo, I respect the separation of powers, and that you have the right to conduct congressional investigations in aid of legislation. Tell me now, what aid that you can legislate when there is no goddamn vaccine until now? Sabi mo na. But the only reason that you can really investigate is in aid of legislation. So what is uh, there in a legislation that you can make that has something to do with vaccine? You cannot legislate vaccine. And then you put the guy in, in, a, in a situation uh, 
Pati yung career niya masisira. I won't allow it. Because that is unfair. I hope that uh, we understand each other. Ayaw ko talaga ng... I enough the grandstanding type na mag... But do not, I said, force me to do something which is not good. Kung gusto ninyo ng gulo, sige. I think uh, now I will tell Durante, he's there. Durante, do not obey the summons. I am ordering you to stay put in the barrack. Sinasabi nila na in-inject raw. It's being used in Egypt, UAE, the United Emirates, and uh, Dubai. Kaya may mga Pilipino doon na uh, yun ang nagamit. Ano ang brand? Milkmaid. <laughs>